Aloha, my name is Jim Kuahikawa, and I'm a geophysicist with the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, or HVO. I've worked here for over 30 years with geoscientists and technicians to understand and monitor Hawaiian volcanoes. Currently, we are watching Mauna Loa and Kilauea very closely because they are showing early signs of possible eruption. HVO is the oldest of five volcano observatories operated by the U.S. Geological Survey, who monitor more than 150 potentially active volcanoes within the U.S. We also help other countries monitor their volcanoes. Over the past two centuries, Hawaiian volcanoes have mostly erupted lava flows or lava lakes, but they are also capable of erupting explosively. Mauna Loa last erupted in 1984, and Kilauea was erupting earlier this year. HVO geoscientists are currently tracking how the surface of the volcano changes, how much and what kind of gases are being emitted, and where earthquakes are occurring to detect how magma or lava underground might be moving. We operate an extensive network of monitoring instruments, which includes near real-time visual and thermal web cameras, so that our scientists can quickly identify areas where volcanic activity is likely. We also use satellite imagery to track lava flows and gas emissions like VOG. An important part of our mission is to monitor Hawaiian volcanoes so that before eruptions, we can issue warnings about dangerous activity and how it might impact residents. During eruptions, we collect data to better understand eruptions and how Hawaiian volcanoes work. For example, during the lower East Rift Zone eruption of Kilauea in 2018, Geoscientists at HVO were able to provide early warnings and show how the eruption, which occurred at a low elevation on the volcano, partially drained the summit magma storage area, causing part of the summit caldera to collapse. Another part of our mission is to educate residents living on potentially active Hawaiian volcanoes about the hazards posed by eruptions. For example, did you know that lava flows from Mauna Loa can cut the highway and reach the sea in South Kona in just a few hours? Or that volcanic eruptions include gases that make VOG, which can spread across the island of Hawaii and the entire state. HVO was founded at Kilauea in 1912 by Thomas E. Jagger, a geologist whose life mission was to protect life and property on the basis of sound scientific achievement. Before, during, and after eruptions, staff at HVO work to achieve this goal, striving to develop new techniques to monitor and understand eruptions of Hawaiian volcanoes and to keep the public aware and informed. Right now, visiting and volunteer opportunities at HVO are limited by COVID pandemic regulations. However, monitoring data streams are available in near real time on the HVO website and to keep the public aware and informed. HVO is over 100 years old. Hundreds of scientists and students have worked and trained at HVO, and we look forward to a time when we will be able to train and work with new scientists and technicians.